Hello, everybody. Welcome to WD Carousel of Podcast. My name's Crystal. And I'm Ian. And we are coming to you about Patreon. Patreon is a program that we are part of that we are looking to get sponsorship from you guys. And so here's a little bit about what we offer. Yeah, so we are going to offer just one level for Patreon, and it is you will become a pass holder, and that gives you access to a couple of things. The first thing you get is early bird access to all of our episodes, so as soon as I get an episode done, um, as soon as we shoot it and I upload it, you will have access to it at that very moment, uh, and, and it'll be delivered to you through the Patreon app, or you can use our other new feature, which is the new CoPass app, uh, which will be sent to you how to get access to that once you sign up. And it will give you um, an index of all of our episodes going way back, Mm -hmm. searchable, everything is there. Mm -hmm. And you get uh, a place to add new topics to to converse with us about that we can potentially go over in the future. Uh, and stuff like that, and so it's we're really excited about it as a as a concept. Yeah, yeah. you can you can favorite your favorite episodes, yeah. so you can listen yeah. to, or for the ones that you're planning on going to Disney, go ahead and save those. That way, you know what to do when yeah. you're getting there. But yeah. this is all for just five dollars, and five dollars it gives you the monthly, I'm gonna say, pass holder yeah. <laughs> level. Yeah. And so just check it out. We're looking forward to giving you this information and this early content. Yeah. All right, now with the show. Thanks, everybody. There's a great big And hello, everybody. Welcome to WD Carousel of Podcast. My name's Crystal. And I'm Ian. And today we are going to do another game review, another yes. Disney game review. Yeah, I like these. <laughs> and yeah, I do too. I mean, we're nerds. Yeah. Obviously. And proud nerds. Yes. And so gaming is part of that. And this is another aspect of a virtual game? Visual game? Because we did we did Kingdom the Hearts. Hearts yep. And we did the board game. We yep. did uh Afterlife. We did Life. Yep. yep. And Afterlife. then yep. <laughs> now we're on the new game, and this is for mobile phones. It, yep. It's available on tablets, I know, Yep. and it's called Magic Kingdoms. Yes. It was released in 2016 by Gameloft, and uh, it is supposed to be, it kind of brands itself as almost a, uh, almost like a roller world, co- builder. world builder, roller coaster tycoon, except not really kind of game, but it's got this kind of weird uh, character collecting element as like a second secondary aspect of it with a overarching plotline. It's kind of trying to be a lot of things all at once. Yes. So the premise of this game is that the villains have taken over, which, you know, is one of my favorite Mm -hmm. concepts, okay? Mm -hmm. And then it is Mickey's job to bring joy and happiness back to the park. Sure, yeah. So he has to clear away all of these evil spells on board so far. Yep, absolutely. And at that point in time, Merlin starts giving him little tasks to do. Things like... You know, go search for a friend, and then you find Goofy, and then you high-five him on the the screen, and it's really, really fun, because you're like, oh, this is super interactive, and I'm really (laughs) enjoying this, and I love that I'm getting new characters, and I love that I'm able to, like, unlock parts of this Magic Kingdom, which honestly is not laid out like the Magic Kingdom, right? but, you know, it gives you a little bit of a Disney feel, and then you get further into it. (laughs) And this is where the game takes a turn. So the first hour, yeah, maybe, Mm -hmm. of the game is fun. It's engaging. It's, you know, you're you're getting to learn it. You're trying to figure out what your goals are. (laughs) And then you really don't know what your goals are. And the game stops telling you. Yeah. Yeah. It 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 sort of it sort of has the the plot is sort of a a major driving force at the beginning which kind of gets you into it and it just at some point then you start it starts to kind of once it kind of opens up like to the all the different stuff you could possibly do it starts to kind of lots in the weeds. And so this is where I cuz we pulled up the game to yeah. do the review. And I got stuck on, like, level four. I was able to get up to level four fairly quickly. And then I didn't know what to do next. I couldn't unlock any of these, like, dark spelled places. And if I'm looking down on my phone, it's because I have it pulled up right now. If you're watching the video on YouTube of this, we will have uh, 
screen images of gameplay so that way you can kind of see what we're talking, talking about. about yeah so if you're interested in that go ahead on to the youtube episode to mm -hmm. get catch the visuals yep but you go and you're like okay so i can't unlock those areas i don't know what my goals are right and it doesn't lay it <laughs> out for you and then you go to this book that has characters and they're almost all grayed out and there's a couple of them but then those couple you have to have certain items for and you don't know how to get the items for them right right and then eventually you figure out how to get the items for them are by making the available characters that you have potentially um do these tasks and these tasks could lead to rewards and these rewards are different things like more magic points um more building your own levels right and occasionally these items but they also have levels of those items they have common they have uncommon they have rare they have legendary and they have like unobtainable so <laughs> you go through and you're doing these tasks and in the beginning you know they're a couple seconds long they're 30 seconds long they're a minute long and then all of a sudden they're two hours long they're four hours long they're what was the longest one that i pulled uh, you, up you right had now? six hours going for a while yeah, I had one that I had running last night for 12 hours. Like, I started it up and oh went God. to bed. That's, and, is that gaming? <laughs> and I, I don't know. So this game is presented to be a kid's game. Yeah, absolutely. It looks very much like a kid's game. It has the colors. It has the, like, high-fiving aspect. It's like, yeah. yeah, let's go ride rides. Right, right. And But at the same time, you... You look at it, and if you play it for a little bit, once it kind of opens itself up a little bit, there are a couple of things that make it really not a good kids game. It's kind of complicated, like mm -hmm. not in like a like a tactical kind of way, but like there's just it's like a spreadsheet. It's like trying to work in Excel. It's just mm -hmm. not that. It's kind of the grind, you know. You have to go through and send them out, and then you have to make sure you come back and get them when they're time to send someone else out. Like it's, it's very that and you have to keep track of the different kinds of items and what are they diamonds and yes whatever. And so the diamonds are a different currency and since See? we brought them up <laughs> let's talk about the diamonds so the diamonds are the way that you can make this time go by faster right and it costs you x number of diamonds to take that four hour task to be completed right away. Right. And so I can see like a little kid wanting to play this game and being like, mommy, this is going to take too long. And then buying diamonds. And it's not like where on, like I play Pokemon Go. I'll admit that. You know, occasionally if you run out of an item, like specialty item, you can go and purchase some more. But it's very rare that you would right. and there are options to I've never get done some. It. Yeah. And on this game, if you don't want to take four hours, six hours, eight hours, twelve hours to do a task, you're going to have to pay money. The only way to be able to get those diamonds on the game is to either level up or to watch advertisement videos. And they only allow you to do like two of those a day to get two extra diamonds to be able to add to that collection. And can you just purchase diamonds right flat out as well? Yes. And they have a dollar amount there. I think they start at like $5 <laughs> up to $100. And you get all of these diamonds. And who's going to spend $100 on this game? That's just insanity land. I mean, I'm all for free gameplay and, you know, it being fair and taking your time. And I don't mind the occasional ad, but this also has ads just randomly pop up for no reason. Right. Like, I was trying to show Ian something <laughs> on my game and all of a sudden, bloop, there was another one. And I yep. was like, hey. Yep. Or it's like, do you want happiness points? And happiness points are for the guests that come to the magic kingdom that you're building and the happier that they are the more bonuses you get and the possibilities of getting better things from the tasks that you have the characters doing but there's like that's the only focus of the kids and it's almost like you're farming at that point in time. You're yeah. just waiting for this to pop up and then right. you, you know, get it. And then you start right. it back up again and you're just doing another task. Right. It's just, it's, it's not engaging. Mm -mm. Um, 
as for an adult, there's nothing that really can suck you in, except for the fact that it's just something to do to set the thing and let them do and go and grind. But then you have to close the app. There's nothing else you can do during that time because mm-hmm. it's just they're out doing something. Uh, it's not really for kids because they might find it's it's cool, cute little interface more exciting, but they're going to want to get through things faster, and it's not going to give much distraction to them if they have to spend a hundred dollars to move up a couple of levels. Mm-hmm. It, it's it's just really it it's just a game that doesn't seem to have an idea of where it should be. Like yeah. it just doesn't know. And to you to get to the next level, you're supposed to have this building or this attraction and like I just pulled it up here the toy soldier's parachute drops 175 diamonds and then like if I wanted to go for something that's just the magic points which is something that you can actually farm okay so something viable versus something that is basically pretty much impossible to get. only yeah financial um the sword in the stone is 75 thousand points at for magic points and i'm at seven thousand i mean this is this is like ridiculous and then they have a parade that you're supposed to be doing and on that parade there again are floats that you need to buy and then you need to spend diamond points to be able to open up more slots so you can have more floats and then you know it's it's this is a game where I think Disney was <laughs> ads. It was they another just pulled up, ad. Pulled up another ad. Oh my god! Um, they know their audience. They know that people want to be able to visually escape from the world that they're in. Right. And the Magic Kingdom is a great place for it. Right. But in this format, I'm not getting any escapism like i'm not getting any pleasure from this at all right it's more management than your current job you know it's just like it's just another job to do and it just happens to be disney branded it's it's really it to me it feels like they took some elements of disney things that people like about disney and tried to combine them in ways that don't make any sense Mm -hmm. like we people do like to spend money on collectible figurines. Mm-hmm. That's a thing that people like to do. Mm-hmm. Absolutely. And pins and everything. The collectibles, the tradables, that sort of thing. Mm-hmm. People also like to simulate the parks and feel like they're getting that park fix and, and trying to do all that. Mm-hmm. So then, you know, that's another thing they like to do. Then they also like to have the interaction in the characters. All these things are elements that Disney took into consideration here, but then combined it into something that shouldn't exist. Like, it's... They, they should have made those all independent things. Mm-hmm. The, 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 like, the collectible... They want to do, like, a a non-tangible collectibles product that's like an app that that you could do trading like virtual pins or something that could be something or like a po- that would be perfect for like a pokemon, pokemon go, go ca- yeah. aspect yeah exactly very much a a collectible either by money or by grabbing in the real world or however mm-hmm. you want to do it making it even enhanced while you're in the parks something mm-hmm. like that um and then having like an app that's like a a Magic Kingdom simulator that lets you like kind of manage the Magic Kingdom like or roller coaster tycoon. Right, right. That would be a fun app. I would play the crap out of that. Yeah. Um, and then having you know something that's the characters doing something more uh, storyline based. I mean, that's like kind of Kingdom Hearts, like having some sort of RPG, mm-hmm. having a more mobile version of something like that. That's something too. So it seems like they were like, well, maybe we can make money off this if we can just combine it all together. And it just, it just didn't work. It just really didn't work. It's it just turned into a a kind of a, a mess of of clearly what looks to be just a giant paywall to basically do nothing. Mm-hmm. Um, and and if they would have just isolated any of these elements, people probably would have paid money and had fun doing this stuff in different forms. Now I will say there is a following for this game. When I was doing research for this, well, when I was doing research to try and get past level four. Love that. Oh, my God. Um, I was looking up, like, how do I do this? Where do I go? What's the next step? Right. And first off, there is no, like, how-to guides <laughs> on whether it be YouTube or on the internet at all. And so if you really want to do that for YouTube, I guess you could probably get some followers for people who are desperate. (laughs) But I do know that they do have some following. And I know that 
there are people who are super excited for like the special events that go on like right now there's a special event going on for nightmare before christmas characters and you have to pay to get a box to be able to possibly get those characters and just one and and i suspect that these followers are part of the collectible figurines market mm-hmm. like that i think that's what it is but i don't know why and they can handle the farming they right they 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 just do it but i but i suspect a lot of them are just buying it anyway yeah i mean i i'm not going to put any money towards this but i'm also not going to waste 6 hours of my day because they were also when i when i was doing the research and trying to figure out what next steps were they're like you might start a task that's going to be a little bit longer but don't just ignore the kingdoms there's really a lot of exciting things going on and some of the enjoyment people get is from seeing the characters interacting or you know interacting with the guests on here and blah 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 and i'm like no if that's what you wanted me to focus on then actually have that have meaning and give it like some more emphasis because i don't think there's much you don't really see much of that Mm -mm. it happens somewhere in the game but you don't like watch it happen there's not a it just doesn't yeah i mean i i can see elements of why people would like it like certain elements of it but i just overall i just wish that it wasn't what it is. What it is. Yeah, I wish they could have they could have made this three separate games and I probably would have liked all of them. I wish they would have streamlined this a lot more. They have a news area that makes no sense again. And it's not really telling you next steps. It's not telling you what you need to do. Like here, I'm in the news section and it's telling me about the history of Rex from Toy Story. <laughs> Rex first appeared in Toy Story in 1995 as the timid toy. I, I know this. And even if I don't know this, that's not information to put in a news section. email section. Put it, put it in like a... in like. Rex's the, potential character bio exactly. and that is a thing. That's not a location it just, for it. Yeah, it just the whole thing feels like somebody had an idea and they just kind of let it go without truly putting in developing it. Yeah, properly. putting in the putting in the effort to like make that all happen. And I it's too bad because I really hope with I really hope that cuz honestly, I kind of like the idea of like the digital non-transferable or digital transferable tokens that are unique and mm-hmm. like there's a lot of neat technology involved with yeah. all that and having digital collectibles and stuff. Why don't they try that? Why don't they do something that's like a super slick collectibles thing and people can put real money into it and have these kind of pin trading style thing online? That would probably be more fun than just buying characters or having to do the grind for the characters. But exactly. Like, I don't know. It just, to me, it feels like no element of it was put in, put in, had enough effort put into it to make it interesting. It's not for kids, first and foremost. If you give your kid this, they will wring you dry of money because their patience <laughs> is null and void. It is not for teenagers because there's nothing there to grab their attention either. And it's not really for adults either because there's nothing there to grab your attention. I mean, I'm a person who spends thousands of dollars going down to Walt Disney World. And right. if you can't grab my attention enough to get $5 out of me on a video game yeah it's wow it's it's problematic it's wow so we've been pretty rough on this (laughs) uh but uh it just did not it did not do it for either of us but i also think that this is a a fair and honest review which we always strive for and the last two reviews that we've had have been fairly positive positive, yeah and so i wanted to you know i I was honestly happy that this was so horrible so (laughs) that way we could have something that wasn't always just bubblegum and sunshine right right. when we're talking about disney disney does have faults disney is a company and this is one of the times where disney did not do well yep i agree It, it they did not i don't think that they accomplished what they set out to do with the game uh, I think. I mean, maybe that's exactly what they wanted. Maybe they thought it would... Maybe I'm sure it's making some money, so... Last for five seconds <clears throat> in most people's wallets and right. then go away. And go away. So... That doesn't seem like a good business model. No, not to me. I feel like they could have not done it and I wouldn't have felt any differently. Or mm-hmm. it, just, it just seems unnecessary and I wish they probably... I feel like they could have put those efforts into a product that would have been more directed and more fun for the group and I bet they would have put more money into it. That's just That's just me. Yeah. Like, give me character collection like Pokemon Go. That that's what I want. Cool. That's what I want. 
Give me that. Augmented reality style. Or give me, you know, world building possibilities like Minecraft or like, you know, Roller Coaster Tycoon Tycoon. or even The Sims. Give me something yeah. like that. That's, that's the other, that was the other game that it kind of reminded me of, but didn't actually do. No, it didn't get to the level of the Sims. It didn't get to the level of the Sims, but like because you have the no characters. there was no relationships. Right, but they had like the characters, like you could make them Sims, but all you can do is like select where they go next. It just... There was no interaction options, yeah, really. Yeah, we're grumpy. So. Like, we, we just did not. Let's, this is not a good game. We've beat this horse to, to death. death. So yeah, but we should wrap this up. Anyway, we, we are going to continue to do uh, some game stuff. Uh... But this was not the one. Yep. So if you are interested in our upcoming episodes for the podcast, check out our Patreon. Uh, we are going to have a list there. We try or we're going to try and upload them, I think, quarterly to mm-hmm. keep you guys appraised of the upcoming episodes. So if you're interested in that, go check out our Patreon. Also, if you are looking to get the visuals on this game, again, we will have it on our YouTube version of this podcast episode, which yes. you can access through our website. Yes. Um, carouselofpodcast.com or on the Instagram uh, page that we have there. We have links there and just all over the place. So check us out there and yeah. let us know what you think. Did you hate this game too? Did you try it? Did Am I doing it wrong? Yeah. Seriously, are we, are let we, are me we know. Are we incorrect? Like maybe there's something really good here that we're completely Please missing. Please tell me I'm missing something because this would be an awesome... It looks like it would be great, but I just, I don't know what to do next other than, you know, these small menial things that I set up for six hours and then come back to. And the only way that you can play this is by actually having every single notification on so you know when one of those six or four hour tasks are complete. So you can just pop in and have them start another task for another six or four hours later. Exactly. So... This has been WD Carousel of Podcast. My name's Crystal. And I'm Ian. And we hope you have a great, big, beautiful (laughs) tomorrow. (laughs) Bye, everybody. Beautiful tomorrow, just a dream away.